Don, now criminal charges against the man accused of drunk driving are going forward in Virginia Beach. In February, we introduced you to Virginia Wesleyan professor Kathy Jackson and her husband Joe. They were nearly killed in that crash. Penny your side's Jason Marks continues their story tonight. Kathy and Joe Jackson have waited nearly six months to see the man accused of nearly killing them in a crash in court. While they saw Robert Thompson in court today, they'll see him again shortly for his trial. It was weird to see him. This was the first time Kathy and Joe Jackson had a chance to see the man who police say nearly killed them. It was good to actually see him in the flesh. The Jacksons weren't able to talk with Robert Thompson, though they still have so many questions. I want to know what led him up to that night. You know, what led him up to um, hitting us at the corner. I want to know more about his history. Police say Thompson was driving drunk and speeding down Northampton Boulevard in early February. The Jacksons were stopped at a light when they were hit from behind. We're getting better, but it's been very slow and uh, we still have some ramifications from the accident. I still have back pain. Joe still has intermittent swelling and, and leg pain. The couple spent weeks in the hospital. From what we've been told, you know, it can take up to a year for it to, for everything to be back to normal. Friday, Thompson decided to waive his preliminary hearing. The most serious charges of DUI maiming will now head to circuit court. The Jacksons say they're now looking forward to his trial. And when something like this happens to you, you want to make as much sense of it as you possibly can. We want to make sure that this doesn't happen to somebody else. Right. That, uh, that basically the, this will be handled and that um, people like Robert Thompson can get the care that they need when they need it so that things like this don't continue to happen. Thompson did plead guilty on a speeding charge going 70 on a 55. As for the other charges, including the two felonies of maiming, they now go to circuit court. The grand jury meets August 3rd. That's the latest here in Virginia Beach. Jason Marks, Ted on your side.